Let's take a look at how to use multiple turtles like this. I've created five turtles and set the pen color for each and had, a, had them all do a loop where they move forward and turn and they move forward a random amount and they turn by a random amount. Let's see how this works. Let's start with this much. This clears the screen and then makes the turtle that you get automatically be invisible. So we won't even use that one. We're going to create our own. To create our own turtle, we use this command here, new turtle, and we say where we want it to be. And I can put it at the origin here like this. So there's that makes a new turtle. Uh, I could put it over like this, and that puts it there. Uh, so that's one turtle. And I could also save the value of the turtle into a variable. I save a, save a reference to it into a variable so that I can use it and, and do things with it like forward. Now, if I had another turtle, like call it T2 at a different location, T2 forward, now I have this. And if I duplicated these lines again and again and again, then I would have five, but I don't want to duplicate those lines. I want to do it a different way. So let's use a loop. Let's say the number is zero to four for each one of those. We will create a turtle and let's just see if this much works. And we really don't know because all the turtles are at the same spot. So let's put them at different spots. Each time through the loop, i takes on a different value. When we create the first turtle, i has the value of zero. And then one and two and three and four. We can use i as a multiplier. So we can multiply it by something like 30, say. So if we say i times 30, then the first turtle appears with x coordinate 0, the second turtle appears with x coordinate 30, the next one 60, 90, and so on. Let's see what we have. Good, that works. And we want to space them out a little more. We just change this to 40, and there we go. Now we want to do something with these turtles. Well, we have a variable here called t that represents each turtle when it's created. And we can say uh, here if we want t dot forward 20. So that should make them all move. Uh, but really what we want to do initially is just create the turtles and then save references to all the turtles so that we can operate on them whenever we want. So I'm going to change this for each into a map. And map is very interesting in that it takes a sequence of things like, like these numbers and um, transforms them into something else. So here we're going we're gonna to transform these numbers, 0 to 4, into a sequence of turtle references we can deal with. So I'm going to say val turtles gets 0 to 4 map. And then here we create a turtle. I'll get rid of this because I don't need this now. And I don't even need this. And now I have a, uh, we create all the turtles and we have references to the turtles in this variable called turtles. So let's run this. Good, that's what we expect to see. And now if we want to do things to all the turtles, we can say turtles for each t and then do something. For instance, forward. Let's see what that does. There we go. Lines 3 through 5 create all the turtles and save references to the turtles in the sequence here called turtles. It's a variable. 
Once we've created those turtles, we can have lines like this on line six, where for each turtle, we do something to it. And here we could get quite fancy if we want to. We can go forward and we can turn like this. Let's go a little bit smaller, say 35. And now when we run, we've got that. Um, if I wanted to do repeat four times, we can now have something like this where they make little squares. So again, lines three through five, create the turtles and save them into a variable called turtles. Now lines six through 11, we have this loop, this for each loop, and for each turtle we'll call T. We want to have a loop and then move that turtle forward and then turn the turtle to the right. Okay, so we're making progress here. Now, let's add some randomness to it. Let's not just always move forward by 35 units. Let's move forward a random amount from 0 to 100. Now that's very different, isn't it? Um, let's not always make right uh, 90 degree turns. Let's use a random number here, something between 0 and 90. Now it's very different. And let's just do more of these. Let's say we want to have 20 of these. I'll make this a little smaller. And now they just seem to be wandering around. One last thing I'll do is pick colors for these turtles. So I have five turtles. Let's pick five colors. So let's do this. We'll create a, uh, a sequence of colors here. So there are some colors. And then when we create a turtle, we're going to set the pen color on the turtle. So we'll save the turtle we're creating into a variable called t, and then we'll call t.setPenColor to colors, and we want to pull out one of the colors. Remember, uh, i takes on values 0 through 4. And you could think of those as corresponding to the elements of the sequence here. So if I say colors and then put uh, I here, then we'll pull out the colors in order, red, orange, yellow. And then we just need to say T here. Now let's see what we have. There we go. It's the same thing with different colors. Some of this is a little uh, confusing in advance and it's uh, you know, Kojo is, Kojo, we program Kojo in Scala. Scala is a very, very powerful language. And we're using some of the advanced features of it. Well, I wouldn't say advanced, but the non-trivial features of it, like map here. Okay, so what should we review? Clear the screen, hide the turtle that gets created first. We set up the sequence of colors that we're going to use, and uh, there are quite a few colors here you can choose from, or if you want to get advanced, you can make your own out of the red, green, and blue components. You can mix your own colors. Then here in lines four through eight, we create all the turtles and for each turtle we create, we set the pen color to be equal to uh, one of these and we do them in order. And then in lines nine through 14, we do something with all the turtles. And here we're repeating 20 times, moving forward by a random amount and then turning right by a random amount. So that might be interesting for you and give you a starting point to uh, try some more things with turtles wandering around.